Hello everyone, it is Esther and welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys may or may not have noticed, I took another break. <laughs> I swear these just keep getting more frequent and longer to be honest. But as I'm nearing, well I say nearing but it's I've still got ages to go. As I'm nearing the end of the challenge I'm kind of starting to get a bit bored and a bit pissed off. Because as many good movies as I'm watching this month... I hope that made sense. I'm also watching quite a lot of bad ones and it's kind of draining me because about t uh, two out of three of these films that I'm about to talk about today that I'll probably be uploading as soon as I can have been like pretty shit to be honest and the first one that I'm going to talk about is The Space Between Us. Now this is one that I actually could not watch again like with 16 Candles. I could not watch it. This movie was two hours long and I watched about an hour of it, probably, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes or something, and literally fuck all happened. Like, it was just so boring. Like, I mean, I'm sure a lot of stuff did happen, but it was just so boring that it didn't feel like anything happened at all. I hope I'm making sense here, but honestly, it was just awful. Essentially, it's about this kid, Asa Butterfield. I mean, I only wanted to watch it because Asa Butterfield was in it, and I love him from the... um. Well, first of all, from, like, loads of movies that I watched as a kid, and also from the Netflix original series Sex Education, which is amazing. But essentially, he's, like, a kid whose mum was, like, a space person. I mean, oh, God, astronaut. I forgot the word. His mum is an astronaut, and she um, goes on like the first mission to try and live on Mars and like colonize it and stuff but she is actually pregnant like before she even goes on the trip and she didn't in and she didn't know so about like a, you know however long it takes to <laughs> give birth to a child she um is like on Mars gives birth to this child and dies in the process because you know it's so weird and unnatural to be in that sort of climate and like give birth to a child and essentially the child is kept secret from the public no one knows about it and the guy behind this space this space mission um like fakes his own death and like disappears and nobody finds out about this kid and then it's like 16 years later and it turns out the whole for like ages he's been talking to this girl from earth who is like she has like a bad home life and she's one of those kids that like people don't understand and stuff and honestly as much as like a good idea as this movie sounds it is so dumb honestly like there is so much backstory I really don't care about this whole space bit like I only watched it for Asa Butterfield and I kind of just wanted to see like the romance aspect of it but other than that it is so unrealistic like, the scenes on Mars are actually pretty decent, and I don't know what Mars looks like myself, but, you know, it does look as if they're on Mars, if that makes sense. Um, but the things that are, are very unrealistic is the stuff that's on Earth, which you would think would be the most realistic part of it, because, you know, the people who made it were from Earth. But no, it is absolutely awful. It's probably written some by some, like, I don't know old man who doesn't know about kids at all these days and the the dialogue is absolutely awful this is one part where the girl that Asa, Butterf that Asa Butterfield has been talking to I'm going to refer to him as Asa Butterfield because in this movie his name is Gardener and that is the worst name for a child I've ever heard so I'm just going to call him Asa so yeah the girl that Asa has been talking to she goes to school you know, like most teenagers do, and she's leaving school and she gets chased by a bunch of boys and they're all running after her and shouting, like, you're a slut and this and that. But, like, literally nothing happened to suggest that she was, and even so it doesn't really matter, like, it's no big deal. But also, that's literally not how bullying happens. <laughs> um, coming from someone who's been bullied for, like, five years straight, that's not how it happens, like trust me I know how it works and that is very unrealistic and is not how it works at all also for some reason um that one viner who everyone hates like well she was a viner but now she does awful instagram in um in speech marks comedy and that is Lele Pons she's in this for like two seconds for no reason whatsoever and I'm kind of thinking that maybe the 
old men who made this movie thought that, hey, this person has a lot of Instagram followers, kids use Instagram a lot, we should put this in our movie. And it really didn't serve any purpose, it was, she was just there. But yeah, I watched so much of this movie, well not so much, but you know, I watched like half of this movie, and it was so boring, like nothing happened. I hate everyone in it, apart from Ace's character, because, you know, it's Ace's Butterfield, he's gonna do his damn best, even if it's the worst movie ever. And... Um, the girl who he's been talking to is also the girl from Tomorrowland, that really awful Disney movie that no one watched and everyone hated. Um, and she is so unlikable and not realistic at all. And she's just like, huh, I hate everyone, blah, blah, blah. And she's just so unlikable and stupid. But yeah, essentially, this movie is so bad. Don't waste your time on it. It just came on Netflix and that's the only real reason I watched it. Also because it's... It, sorry <laughs> also because Asa Butterfield but yeah don't waste your time on this go watch Sex Education instead it's way better and even though it's set in space it well and even though it's not set in space it is still galaxies better than this movie okay I will stop making dumb jokes now and get on to my next video this is probably the longest video like in the whole series so far because I've had so much shit to say about it essentially but yeah, I'm going to go and review the next two, and I will get back to you probably a few hours or something after this one's uploaded. Goodbye.